Welcome to another episode of Just Us Dad. This is the Dadversation. And if this is your first time here, head on over to YouTube, subscribe, like, and then head on over to all the audio platforms, wherever you get your podcast, and uh, subscribe over there. The other thing you can do on the audio platforms is that you can rate it. We found that out a couple weeks ago, and there's a bunch of stars, and you can click, and you can give us like a five star or four star or whatever star. Um, as long as you rate it and it helps us, it helps the podcast and we appreciate it. Um, Chris isn't here today. George is here, but we got a special guest and we've been waiting so long to have him on. Uh, Herc, what's going on, buddy? How are you, man? George, what's going on, buddy? Good, good. Dude, uh, must well, have, you must have been really good at public, sp public speaking when you were younger. I have, uh, like really not, not when I was younger. I had, uh, I had quite a, uh, quite a little, uh, it was all those, of experience. It was all those pimata on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. uh, in, in Greek school. <laughs> you have to do the, it twice, the twice a year in front of the crowd. <laughs> those poems <laughs> from. I hated that, man. Oh, man. It. <clears throat> it definitely, you know what? It, it definitely kicked our asses to forced us to, to shake it off. Well, where, in Greek school? Well, just in general, going on stage in front of hundreds of people you don't know and whether, saying, whether, saying whether, some words. Whether you wanted to or not, it was like they handed you the poem and they're like, here, you're going to recite this. It's intimidating for a little eight, nine-year-old seeing hundreds of people. <laughs> like it's and what's, what's, what's every kid's trick? Press the fast forward button. <laughs> yeah, they, just, done. they just go through the whole thing. They just go through the whole thing. Uh, Herc, man, it's nice. For, uh, it's nice to have you here. We've been uh, we've been uh, talking amongst us uh, amongst us for a while now to have you on. We've been waiting for that moment. Uh, for anyone that is just tuning in. We, oh, and by we, I mean Chris, George, uh, and I have uh, been in this weight loss competition for almost a year. It's ending on the 5th of July. Um, I'm not so sure. I, I've been fucking up lately, and I keep telling myself that I'll just go on like an IV diet. IV diet. <laughs> just IV. IV. IV and cardio. <laughs> exactly. So I can just. That's milk why Chris it a little didn't bit. come. He couldn't bring the IV with him. He couldn't. He couldn't <laughs> roll the IV. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's hard to drive. Like but what we did a couple months ago, we uh, started kind of like a parallel competition for friends and family and other people, fans also of the uh, of the podcast who wanted to join in uh, a competition, lose weight, feel better, uh, change their life around uh herc is one of these guys and it's not just a couple months ago uh george kind of took him under his wing because george has done phenomenal uh work on his body the last couple of years uh, he's dropped tons of weight um and uh and yeah dude fuck let me let me just say something herc i had seen you i think last year we went over george's house you were there and that was the last time I saw him. And then George kept telling us, dude, fucking Herc is losing weight. Uh, I'm giving him some tips. You know, we have a little thing and we're supporting each other and this and that. And I'm like, okay, good for him, you know? And, and then six pounds. And, yeah. And then the week after, oh, man, he keeps losing weight and oh, Herc is doing well and he keeps losing. Keeps losing. And like almost on a weekly basis, every time, you know, like the pre recording, we kept talking and stuff. And it's like, he's down 10. Oh, he's down 20. He's down 30. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on, bro? The guy's on some drugs or something. And, and then. I see you last Saturday. There was like this event with parents and, and and their kids at school. And it was like a nice little fundraiser that the parents committee had uh, organized. And I see you there and I'm like, well, where the fuck did half your body go? Dude, congratulations. Thank you. Man. Uh, tell everyone how much weight you've lost. Well, <clears throat> as of today, a hundred pounds. Fuck. A hundred pounds. I told you to try Dude, it. A hundred pounds, man. Since December 22nd. I just jumped into it. <laughs> Fucking beast. <clears throat> I jumped so, into it and I, I just didn't look back, man. Yeah, yeah, a hundred pounds, and, and it's not in a year or a year and a half because you know when you when you when you when you hear numbers like this, like normally you'll hear five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty, fifty pounds, whatever. A yep. hundred pounds, man, it's almost impossible to even imagine yep. what that feels like, and it's only been what seven months, six, six, six months, six months, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. Know, it feels it feels like talking the mic. Come closer, bro. <clears throat> yeah, it feels like I'm still overweight, like a phantom limb. You cut it off, it's it still feels like it's there. You know, <laughs> it's it's weird. It's, <laughs> I'm not. I'm still getting used to it. But yeah, the, 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 there's still a big boy inside phantom, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still, I still yeah. look at that food, man. Like, I got a phantom six inches of belly. That that, 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 that <laughs> fat guy never leaves inside. It never. feels like you know. Never. He, <laughs> no, I never know that for a fact. Yeah, the, he's always there, lurking somewhere in the background. He's always there to fuck you over. <laughs> yeah, you see the kataifi or the baklava, and he, he pops up. Oh, you should have that. And then when somebody shows the ice cream next to it, you're like, oh man, I got. I gotta pair that Put together. That shit together. Uh, but no, seriously, tell me, 
because I mean we 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 all went there. Uh, I mean I wasn't anywhere close to the weight that you were. Obviously you're a big guy, fucking six four, whatever you are. Um, but we've all been through that place where you know you're gaining weight. You're kind of telling yourself. <clears throat> Okay, okay, uh, Monday, Monday, yeah. Monday starting. Yeah. Uh, and I've said it many times on so many other episodes. It's like, all right, all right, 210. Uh, I'm, I'm going to stop at 210. I'm never going. Oh. And then you reach 211. You're like, okay, 215, 215. I'm never going to 15. And then you reach 215 and you're like, okay, 220. 220 is the max. I'm never going over 220. <laughs> and then you reach 220 and you're like, okay, 225. And like an idiot, you just keep yeah. climbing yeah. rather than taking any action. Um, you're, that's somebody who's actually checking. Which is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. great How thing. many don't give a shit and don't even no, look at the No, they give a shit. shit. They don't want to look because it hurts. Yeah. Denial. Yeah, yeah. Denial yeah. keeps denial, you denial, feeling denial. fine, you know? So so the question is, what was that moment? Because we've, no, we've known each other for a long time. I don't know how long you've known George, but, you know, Herc and I used to dance together uh, back when we were kids. Uh, this is a Greek folklore, ladies and gentlemen. We're not talking about pole dancing. Did you guys ever forced. dance like Yatron? <laughs> yeah. forced. Uh, yeah. Most of the kids were forced. I stayed on and I actually ended up liking it a lot and I continued later on. But um, you're always a tall guy. You're always slim and stuff. Uh, and then I, I started seeing you around. You know, so you, you, you hang out with George and, you know, we all saw our progress, right? Of, you know, the weight gain. And at some point it was cool. Yeah, dude, fucking three in the morning. Let's go grab some pizza and then put in. And it was like, I don't know. I don't know. We thought it was the thing to do. At what point did you tell yourself, okay, fuck, no, this is, this is enough, man. This, well, this has got to end. I'm, I'm going to start by saying that um, <clears throat> recently, like in December when I started, I was the heaviest I'd ever been. Right. So I've yo-yoed consistently throughout the years. There was a time like around um, two between 2008, 2010, 2011, I, was I went to like 205 pounds. Oh, wow. I was going to the gym. I was taking care of myself. Then, you know, you, know, you fluctuate, you go up, yeah, yeah, you yeah. go down. And um, I've always been a little bit heftier now and between like 30 and 40 years old. But like right now it's, you know, with two kids. And you forget about yourself. Magic COVID, age. COVID, COVID as well. And right before COVID, I had lost a little bit of weight too because I'd been going to the gym. And then COVID like uh, derailed my progress. Like, and like everybody else. Like, yeah. You know, you know what I think it is? And I don't know if you feel this, but the minute that you make whatever kind of effort, any effort, and you notice that, I can do it, man. I can lose 10, 15, 20 pounds. Keep Easy, saying you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's true. And I, I, No, no, you're right. It's, we, a, it's a mental thing. Yeah, it's all in your head. And we've spoken to so many people that, that go through there. It's like, oh, come on. It's easy. 20 pounds. I've done it. You I've know done what I mean? it so many times. I yeah, know what yeah. to do. Ah, so I took 10, 15 pounds. No worries. I've, I've already done it. So in the back of your mind, there's like this settling feeling that and then when you it's gain 40 okay. like, ah, i'll just do it twice <laughs> yeah it's like ah, i've been there before i can take care of it i'll handle it yeah. and then you know you don't realize that it's like six years later and you're like what the fuck just, just happened? creeps creeps up on you yeah, yeah. and then it, you you get stuck there and you don't know what to do you yeah. know you like it creeps up on you you don't know how to start you know you don't know how to start even though if you you've done it before and you know how to do it you're up shit's creek, man. Yeah. But 100 pounds is, is, is super impressive. That's more than I'll do a little effort. That's commitment. Like, I mean, I think we should all agree here. It's commitment. Like, 100 pounds. It's, 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 it's uh, yeah, Of course, it's 100. What, what was that thing, that click? You're like, okay, look, this is it. It's over. We got yeah. to change. It's, it's something I, I knew I, need, I needed to do. It's just, just like anything that I've done in the past, I've gotten a little bit of help from somebody, you know, yeah. some pointers, which George really helped me, you know. Also, the fact that he was a big boy as yeah. well, and that he's consistently kept he's kept the weight off yeah which for me is like you know he could do it man it, it's it's an attainable goal yeah so why can't i do it yeah so he showed me uh a couple of little tricks while i while i was like dieting and i'm still eating clean yeah and and i eat well but <clears throat> i've introduced uh cardio into my uh regimen what do you regimen. do you you walk i started by walking yeah okay and um i would do the George special. The George special. I, you know what? And I, I'm I'm big, so I walk. I move yeah. air like a, I walk fast. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I started by walking and jogging. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, I've walking, jogging, and then jogging. I've like how long can you go now to jog? I, I could do I could do ten kilometers. I could run get out run. straight. Yeah, yeah, and I I quit smoking like um, a little over ten years ago as well. So okay, cool. I don't smoke anything. I barely drink. I had a, a gin tonic last week. It was the first drink I'd had in. This year, I, oh, I, I sent these guys a picture. Was it? La it was last week. It was Grand Prix weekend. 
uh, we went out to to Pub St. Paul. I hadn't. Oh, that was nice. That picture. Yeah, I, I wanted. Oh my goodness! I well, hadn't. Back, what back in the day, like when you were no, 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 younger? No, this, is, this is last week. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, and I hadn't gone to Pub St. Paul in God knows how long. In the okay. fucking nachos. Yeah, and uh, we're Are with we? my wife, and we went with the kids to the old porn. We're like, ah, oh, let's go to Pub St. Paul. You know, like the kids. Yeah, nachos, and it was during the day. You know, yeah. And I'm like, I got, I, I can't, I gotta have a beer. I hadn't had beer. I can't even remember how long I hadn't had beer. And it felt like, like a, a like a love rekindling. Yeah, it's like oh my good, just for the first like the minute it touches your lip, you're like oh my god, yes, yes. yes. No, no, no. <laughs> Especially with the warm weather, it just goes yeah, yeah, yeah. salty nachos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so yeah, so uh, I know how you feel, man. <laughs> I know how you feel. Yeah, so so clean diet. You're, uh, you started jogging. Are you doing any muscle? Are you doing any um, body weight? Well, everything that I've done, I've done it gradually. Because I want this, I want to make sure that it stays off. Yeah. Okay. So He's not done. I'm not done. This we is, just, this we is, just intersected him here. Yeah. yeah. He has a goal. Yeah. yeah. And my goal is uh, to keep it off. What's the, the what's the what's the ultimate goal? Like, what's your happy place? What's the happy weight? 140 pounds. 140? He wants to lose 140 pounds. Oh, okay. I thought oh, you wanted to go down yeah, to 140. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I don't think that's healthy. 135, 140. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you have another, you can let's say, 40 to go. Play with like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 10 pounds. Yeah, you got to leave that buffer. Yeah, for sure. Because he wants, like to settle, he wants to settle at 130, so he has to go 140 because <laughs> yeah, of the adjustment. The goal is that, but I'm also, I've been looking into taking martial arts and stuff and becoming a lifer and just, it's not just the body, it's the mind. Yeah. Yeah. So this, it's all to, it comes all together in like a nutshell. It's crazy how like when you make that decision and it clicks, uh, it, it feels like y- you open this whole other realm where it's like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to lose 100 pounds, then I'm going to start this. And like you just keep opening new challenges and it's like you're, you keep pushing yourself and you, you just want, like, like we were saying this last time too, like I've never trained five, six times a week, like never in my life maybe two, maybe three, mm. and it didn't even last, you know? No, I've, I've done that. I've done that. I Like in 2008, 2000. Before, every day. I would go, not every day, yeah, yeah. but I, I followed a gym schedule. Yeah. Like three to four times a week. Cardio, yeah. weights, started gradually, build up uh, strength and endur- endurance, and uh, I stopped doing it afterwards. Because yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the thing. You, <clears throat> you Like people that struggle with their weight and... Uh, <laughs> You know, eating food and all this nasty stuff that we do. Um, There's always instances in life where you find yourself having to lose weight. You're, yeah. Like, I mean, I used to, like, back in 2008, nine. That 2010, that era, I was going to the gym five, six times a week. I used for to go sure. with him. I used, I used to, go to go a lot. Yeah, yeah I remember. I used to yeah. run into you guys. I used to run into you, yeah. exactly. Fit for life. And then <clears throat> it's the, the the old saying that old habits find a way to reappear. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you don't notice them coming. And even when you do notice them, just ignore them because you're comfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're yeah. enjoying the things you shouldn't be doing. Yeah, yeah. There's all these reasons. Then you go down this rabbit hole, you come out 100 pounds heavy, and you're like, what the fuck do I do now? Do the kids change anything for you? Like the of fact course. that they're older, they can understand now. Did you go through that also, like mentally? Yeah. How can you not? Of course not. Of course. They're the center of my life. Yeah. This is the reason why I'm doing it. I yeah. want to see grandkids. Yeah. I want to be able to play with them and have the energy and do it, to do it. You know? but, but it goes, it goes, it goes abo- above and beyond that, right? And we, we've said that on other podcasts as well, especially in my case where... We didn't grow up with parents who exercised. <laughs> At least I don't know about you, but or, I did it. Or know? knew ab- anything about nutrition. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Zero. Zero. For that, zero. For, yeah, for, for our parents, like a healthy nutrition is anything I cook, at home, if I make it at home, it's healthy for you. Yeah, it doesn't matter that you put two liters of oil. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. Or like a like <laughs> the portion is like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put more cheese. Like two scoops of salt. You know, you eat half a loaf of bread with it. Exactly, it's healthy. It it com- yeah, yeah. It's home. It's homemade, so it's healthy. Uh, but so yeah, so we, we 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 didn't we didn't grow up at all with that kind of mentality, right? So that it could be kind of. Uh, but did your parents ever struggle with weight? No, no. But look, obviously they had. You know, manual jobs, right? They were always on the go. Like, so, so it's different. Most of the people now, they're sitting on a chair There's behind a, lot of a things computer. They didn't eat either. Yeah, yeah. You know, My right. parents never ate a chocolate bar. No, or yeah. chips. Never. Just sit down on the couch eating chips. Never. Or have a Coca Cola. Never. Never. I, never. I, I never saw my dad 
eat fast food no once in my life Neither. one time actually i think we went to mcdonald's we were taking a trip to uh Cape ate the fries no no not even <clears throat> a I coffee th- i think he ate a pancake at mcdonald's oh, really? what? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's pretty much that's yeah. a milestone yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> not even a my dad would order for all of us and just have a coffee i've seen my dad <laughs> i've really? seen my dad maybe a fry i've maybe seen my fry. dad once at mcdonald's and then there was another time before that which I, I couldn't remember i was too young but my aunt has told me the story and i told you that when we went and we sat down and we told my dad that you know when we come with my uh, you know our aunt we go order and goes no no she doesn't know what she's doing we'll wait for the waitress so my dad <laughs> my dad was waiting for the waitress to come take our order <laughs> at mcdonald's so apparently that happened I, I i don't know i was too young that's what i've been told and then the second time i saw him which for me was my, the first time that i can uh, recall was you know my sister was working at mcdonald's and they Freebie. had no, no no but they had this competition uh amongst the the cashiers there on who can have more sales or whatever so everyone kind of invited their friends and family so we all went to mcdonald's right that and we, we were waiting in line to order for my sister the other cashiers were empty we're like no no we'll order over here and that was the first time my dad had to do it to help her out and he took a fry the the smallest fry the and paper, a coffee the paper, the, the fold, <laughs> so the paper that yeah, folds yeah, exactly, over exactly. The- that's it yeah yeah that's the only time i've seen my dad eat mcdonald's he's not gonna yeah. grab a burger not yeah. mcdonald's he didn't cook it you think no. he knows what's in there no. Uh, but all that I mean, to say, there wasn't enough oregano in there. <laughs> yeah, Why would he eat that? <laughs> Chopped up little onions. <laughs> and, a, and he doesn't see any chunks of onion in it. How can he possibly eat that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, all, all this to say that we didn't grow up with that mentality where you would see your dad wake up in the morning and train. And and I've been telling these guys, my wife is the complete opposite because she did. That was her reality. Like she would. Her, she, her father is Rocky IV. <laughs> it's like that's my, her father. Her like, father is Rocky IV. Like my father-in-law yeah. is super. Chisel. He's well now. He kind of slowed down a little bit, but um, super in shape. Like the guy goes off on a, like he runs every. Like he used to run every day or on his bike or there's like some sort of physical activity that has to be done every single day, and she grew up with that mentality and she was like that too. And I remember her telling me one day, she's like, you know, I don't know, man. I don't want the kids to grow up. Like I grew up watching that and having that as a standard of my life. And I don't want our girls growing up and, you know, having this. Like she didn't tell me you, you know, she goes, she included herself, but I knew that in including herself, she pretty much just meant you, (laughs) you know? Uh, And she's absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, so yeah, so I'm, uh, so that's that's where my question comes from. I'm, I'm like, yeah, your kids, like, because you know, they reach an age where they understand. Mm. That was my biggest um, thing when I did it. Yeah, yeah. my kids were <sighs> two and two and four. Yeah, when I decided that they're not gonna turn five and not gonna remember me like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. five was the age that they remember. Shit. Yeah, 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 like yeah. It's not. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Did your did your did your kids ever tell you, Dad, you're big or well, what the hell? Well. You know, my son is more of an introvert, yeah. a lot of energy. My daughter is just, she, she, talks she says what she thinks. She says what she thinks. And she, she says what back. you think. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, she, she He's tells me, mad. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. And um, yeah, she tells me, bye-bye, you used to be big before. And uh, no, you're not big. You don't have the belly like this. Yeah. You know? Sometimes, you know, she comes up to me and like, pokes me. Yeah, where like, is it? You know, she oh, like, flicks it. Oh, that's the, the worst. Day, now, now it's not as bad. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, you know, I, I want to lead by example. Are you? Are you? Because I, I know George. Uh, first of all, he he's changed completely to the point where he has to analyze everything he eats, the the, the, the amount of salt or sugar or fucking I don't know everything. weighing thing. And he's and he was telling us the other day that he he started kind of you know showing that example to his kids, where the kids now take the stuff and they they're, they're, yeah, he's really educating them on understanding what's content. in the food that you eat. Look, I've only got them looking at sugar yeah because yeah. i limit them how much sugar they can have in their dessert after dinner yeah yeah yeah. so they go and check because i'm gonna check so they tell me from where they are so if out of there i don't want them to have it they'll yeah. just pick something else and check the next one Do, are you doing the same thing are you trying well how old are wait how old are they my son is six and my daughter just turned five okay they're still young i didn't give them a number no. to yeah, live yeah, by. Yeah. i just I, I just ask because i make a decision based yeah, yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Look, so they just tell me they check it and tell me what it is so i can tell them if it's okay right okay um well i do tell them i don't show them the labels but i tell them that this is bad a, or this, this is, is bad and there's you, i try to kind of talk to them about nutrition they don't really understand 100 100 percent. yeah i do i pepper it in there you know just so well, so man, i'm know. gone as far as saying uh you know, you know sugar's bad why is it bad because you could die 
<laughs> I've, I've, I've told you, him stuff like you that. You could lose a foot. I've told him. You know, might no, have to, I told him. might have to <laughs> circumcise <laughs> your cock. You're going to get amputated. I swear to God, I've told him this gonna, stuff. Your teeth are going to Your fall teeth out. are going to suffer. I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you, I, you, I, have I, to I don't, you could lose your sight. I, 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 I tell them. Yeah. I've used the teeth thing, uh, but for, for the brushing of the teeth. Like you got to brush your teeth. Well, Why? Because they're going to turn black and fall. That's, but that's together. You yeah. have to brush because you eat sugar. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. have to say that. Chips, you know? too. Chips, too. I haven't started with uh, the food. Loaf. Mind you, I mean, they don't eat that bad, my kids. I mean, do we... You know, we always eat here, but, um, and if we go eat out, they're usually going to take chicken or yeah. whatever, you know what I mean? Um, so it's not garbage. Like, uh, they don't eat hot dogs and uh, that sort of thing. Occasionally. Occasionally they will, yeah. I mean, if we go to a, a barbecue, of barbecue or whatever, a year, yeah, 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 exactly. But it's not like an everyday thing. Um, so, yeah, so I'm not so sure they're aware that there's bad foods and good foods. Like well, they, they trust they, you to be the filter. They, they they have a little bit of understanding, like, you know, can, like Halloween came, uh, passed or Easter, and they're like, okay, you, know, you can't eat too much of this. It's not good for you. You know, it's not good for your belly. Yeah. I find that now that I've lost weight, and I can tell them, remember, bye-bye, he had a big belly. That's no good, and so we're losing it. We're, we, we can't have bellies. Yeah, you know? by example. Yeah. What? It kind of, you know, it's counterproductive. You know, you're like... I'm walking. Picture me like what I was before. No, no, no. Yeah. Don't don't eat that. Yeah. Like, Justify it now. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. now I could crack the whip. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's good to crack the whip sometimes. for sure. Well, yeah. because look, let's understand one thing. Uh, until they go like let's say like grade two, three, where they're like fully in that ecosystem of their school and they're focused on what's going on over there, mm -hmm. the only thing they look at and learn from are their parents, right? Yeah. Yeah, so but the concept also, of good or bad yeah, is the parents. Exactly. They, 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 some kid, the kids are wicked. A lot of them are wicked. Like if a kid's like overweight, they don't hold back. They're relentless. Man. Yeah, yeah. relentless man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fat. Oh, like God. you know, man, to crush the spirit is <laughs> not good, man. Yeah. And I try to teach my kids not to do that as well. Don't like, be mean. Don't be mean. Yeah, yeah. that could be you. you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And it's important. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, kids are assholes sometimes. Of course they are. Yeah. But Chris has been saying that because obviously his 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 wife teaches, and so you know they they they, they she has a lot of examples. She has a lot of examples, and Chris has been telling us obviously through his wife that there's way more obesity now in uh, kids know, than I, ever before. I remember that conversation. We yeah. Now finish what you were saying. No, no, that's what I was saying. Like, uh, and he about, uh, was saying that the the, the averages of, of obesity in, in schools were higher. Yeah. Were at the school he was referencing. Yeah. Specifically, and now the next day I went. To my kids' school, I didn't see that. No, not eh? one bit, not one bit, not one bit. I don't know. Like the Greek, Greek it, connection. It's the Greek connection. I, well, I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure it's higher than it was. Well, but is it uh, is it uh, generalized to the point where all kids like? Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe I don't, I don't maybe know. it's just unfortunate that the average landed there, the bad average. I don't. I, I don't know if it's just that school. I think in general, maybe the the average has gone up. Not to the extent that he was saying. Yeah. Remember what he was saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, wow. Like, no, no, my kids Look, he, he, all, he was saying, and maybe he's right, like, it's the inverse. Like, we, like you can count the overweight kids in one hand back in the day. Yeah. Now it's the opposite. Like, there's way more. Like, it's not, it's visible. Not necessarily. No, no. no. My school, in my school in elementary, there was a lot. Man. Yeah, me too. There was, there was plenty. There were, really? There yeah, were, yeah. Were. Oh, like yeah. He mentioned three or something. It was the three of us. Every year, it was us three were the biggest. <laughs> like in my school, it was more than just three, man. I was definitely one of the biggest ones. I was the yeah. biggest kid every year. <laughs> but uh, what was it? Where were we going with this? Yeah, no, I mean, kids aren't eating as... Okay, let, let's just say kids aren't eating as healthy as we were. Probably. Probably. There's more... Uh, there's, less, there's less meals cooked at home, probably. Yeah, well, with both parents having to work back in the day, I don't know about your mom. Our moms were like home; they were, you know, well, they, your mom was your mom was home cooking, right? When you come home from school, uh, my, both my parents were working, um, but yeah, it was always home cooked meal. Okay. My, mo my mom would take off for every time she gave birth. Plus, with me, she took off for three years. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. Even no. So for three years, my sisters, my my mom was home all the time, you know, cooking all the meals. Uh, even when she worked, she finished very early. Our, our dinner was home cooked. It was early, yeah, for hours. So they, 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 my parents were home um, by three thirty ish. And they were both home, and economically, didn't make sense for them. <laughs> we're gonna cook it even if we ate it at midnight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. would cost way less. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's still the case today. Like you go over your parents' house and they still cook. Like there's fucking ten people in the house on a daily does basis. It, does it get wasted? 
Uh, no. No, 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 no. It never gets wasted. That's good. Like, my father's going to call me. He's like, yeah, I made some pastizo. I'm like, why? He goes, ah, whatever. Come like, pick it up. Ding dong, it's already there. Yeah. <laughs> He's not going to come here. He goes, look, pass by and get it. Like, I'll have it for oh. you. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they still cook, like, large amounts of food. I'm like, dude, you guys understand you're only two, eh? But uh, but they didn't make uh, crap. No, no, never. No. It was fattening, though. Like it, a was, it was rich, it was, yeah, but yeah. It was a, that, that's a Sunday dish. It's not a Tuesday, Monday, you know. Yeah, look, we ate a lot of fish. We ate uh, our meats, soups. We ate a lot of soups. Yeah. So it was always like this balanced there's a uh, lot of, nutrition. There's a lot of vegan meals in the Greek, in the Greek uh, diet. Yeah, always a salad. There was always a salad on the table. Not always, but. Most of the time, most yeah. like I, I, it's very difficult for me to to to, to think back at, at a time where there was no salad uh, on the table. No, like when you had I don't know, cooking your stomach, me faso like it. You had a salad with that. There was always there was always a salad <laughs> yeah. on the table. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't make we wouldn't make salad with that. Us. No, us, we would. My mom would make it with a bunch of stuff. Like Chris, some people more <laughs> like you know Chris's story <laughs> where he brought sushi to his parents. No, <laughs> you know the story. No, 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 no. He ordered sushi for his parents. Did, he, did they know they were getting sushi? I think they had tried. I'm not sure if it was the first time where they had tried they it and they told salad, him. Yeah. Uh, so he ordered, he brought sushi with him and before they sat down to eat him, they had to make a salad. Oh my God. <laughs> did they use like peanut sauce or anything like that? <laughs> like a, anything interesting? Like a Greek, a big, big Greek. Tomato bowl. salad with feta. A big, a big bowl of Greek salad. Some crumbled with the yeah, yeah. They actually ate the sushi though. <laughs> yeah, they, my they, mom they, likes they, it. They, wow. My would your dad, dad try? My dad would be making faces. I, I've told you this. <laughs> I, you know those faces. Have right? I told you the story when I brought sushi? You're making stereotypical jokes. I, I went I went and picked up sushi once and I brought it to my... I was still living at home, obviously. So I came home and my mom, first of all, gets disgusted. Like if she doesn't eat at home, yeah. uh, she can't. And if we if we go eat out, it has to be like the safest dish that, you know, like yeah, she's going to have chicken. My dad was wild. You know what I mean? Like, she, like she's not going to... Isn't exper- chicken the least safe? It depends. Salmonella. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, like if there's turnaround, you know, the chicken is, is being like it's fresh usually, but whatever. Anyways, uh, or she can take a, uh, a souvlaki stick or whatever, whatever, basic, something that basic. she understands. Like she won't experiment. Yeah, she, yeah she'll yeah. never experiment. You know. Uh, so I come home one day with like a little styrofoam thing with sushi, whatever. So I eat and I eat it. Uh, I sit in the living room and my mom is gagging. She was like, mm, "Like how are you eating that?" Mm. I'm like, "Relax, man. Just by looking at me, she couldn't." Wow. So my father, I'm like, dude, like, look, it's it's rice, and there's like the crab tail or whatever, you know what I mean? It's like it's it's not this guy, like it's not rush, you know, not raw stuff, it's you know, like it's, it's a rice. Yeah, it's, it's so I gave him one, and he's like, okay, whatever, I'll try one. I, that was for me. It's shocking. I'm like, what, what do you mean you're gonna try it? Because so, you, you you gave him the logic. Yeah, it's like it's rice, and you know, there's seaweed and whatever. So he 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 puts it in his mouth and he's chewing, and then he's chewing. And I'm like, what the fuck is, what, what is he, what's taking so long? And he keeps chewing. And he's like, and then he stops and he's like, and he pulls out the seaweed. And he's like, what the fuck is this shit you guys are eating? <laughs> I thought you were going to go somewhere glorious with a story like you <laughs> No, no, no. It like. started, like it transitioned to, hmm. Okay, and then you saw the transition. Like, okay, well, why is he still chewing? Fuck. It felt like it was 10 minutes. Oh, and he's like, he just pulled it straight out. He's like, what the fuck is he this? He was dissecting the seaweed. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, all that to say that it was always healthy food. And, and here's what I don't understand. And, and actually, this is what worries me. The same thing that we just spoke about, about us wanting to show the example to our kids. So we want to exercise. We want to eat healthy. We want them every time they look at us to have this image of what I want to be when I grow older. I want to be healthy. What, what I, I should be. Yeah, what I should be. Um, but here's what worries me. In terms of nutrition, I think we all had that at home. The training, forget it. It didn't exist. Uh, so on that point, it's like a minus for all of us. But in terms of nutrition, we had that. And we did, grew- did we? Well, yeah, it was home-cooked we, meal. We had a lot of it, but uh, we had a lot of the flaws of it too. Yeah, but they were always home-cooked meals. So what I'm, what I'm worried is we had that and we still ended up fucking eating garbage and ordering in. And I hope like- are our kids going to actually maintain these habits of just, you know, cooking ho- uh, home cooked meal? Like that's what worries me because we didn't really follow into that path. <laughs> you know what I mean? We didn't, we, we went astray a little bit. Look, man, you're talking as somebody who grew up not fat. Yeah. I was overweight young. It was always a, it was always a problem. Yeah. So it started young. It didn't start on my own. 
know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, There's right. something within the whole mm-hmm. system there, the ecosystem that caused it. Right. That was, it was part of it. Maybe it was just genes, George. <laughs> It was a big bone. It's really <laughs> just one the, thing. The typical excuse. Uh, it's uh, that's how no. I was. I was, born. I was really big. I was well, born really big. Yeah. I was. I was born like um, a month premature, I think, and I was like 10 fifty pounds. pounds. Ten pounds. <laughs> 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 Wait, sorry, how much? Ten pounds. Oh. Had like a melon. A month. A month premature. <laughs> ten pounds. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, I'll get. I'll get the details on it. Wow. <laughs> So I was always big, yeah, yeah. And they was like, "Oh my God, eat, eat!" Makes me so happy. Look how much he's eating. And then how it's like, crazy, stop eating. How cra- no, but how crazy was that mentality that it was safe? If your kid would eat, you're good. He like won't, he won't die. Worry. He won't die in a famine. Yeah, let the kid eat. Well, he won't die in a worry. famine. That's what it meant. <laughs> they still, yeah, yeah they, they came from a depression. Yeah, yeah man. They, they were stuck with that. There's yeah. food. Eat it. Oh, he's eating. Yeah. Good for him. Because if there's be ever a famine, you're gonna be happy about those reserves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the mentality. How crazy is that? <laughs> that, that's that's fear. Yeah, yeah, that's growing up with fear in your mind, man. <laughs> yeah, Makes sense. that's we worried that Netflix might be down. Yeah, yeah. what? No internet. <laughs> what the fuck? What's your Wi Fi? What's the Wi Fi password? <laughs> the biggest worry. <laughs> the biggest stress. I'm out of data. <laughs> uh, but her experience. Uh, okay, on a personal level now, yeah. how do, how do you feel? Uh, have you seen the difference in in your body and you know the way you feel, breathe, of walk? Of course, yeah. What, what are the biggest changes? Do you still snore? Um, no, he said I, he quit I, about a year ago. No, 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 snore. No, snore. Oh, snore. snore yeah. <clears throat> I do snore. It's gonna. Uh, it's always, on its way out. No, well, I, my, my wife tells me that I still snore, but it's not as bad, and I actually breathe because I wear a, a an CPAP apnea. machine. An apnea machine. A CPAP machine. What, what's wrong with you guys? Like, everyone has a sleep apnea machine. You know, you know what's maybe wrong with I us? have it, and We're, I don't know. You know what's wrong with us? We went and checked it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I stopped. I don't yeah. do it anymore. Okay, you're you're, you're fine. You well, well. Anymore, yeah. you know what? I think I, I I've gone great. way better. I've gone way better, but I still like to wear the machine because I wake up. And yeah, it's nice. It is nice. Night and day. Yeah, I, yeah. I wake up. I spring out of bed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I lo- I lost the weight. I just, I'm out of bed. <clears throat> I'm I'm up. There's no grogginess. Yeah, yeah. And that's how I used to be before. And then the weight gain and stuff like yeah, you wake up and you're like, you know, and you can't breathe. And I had it pretty bad. I had the, the apnea was bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's a common thing, man. Yeah. It's what very about common. everybody you talk to is like, hey, I just got one. I got one before my dad. Yeah. <laughs> how do you how do you even know that you might have it? Like what? Like you you, well, you choke? Like it you usually wake up starts with a spouse or somebody like that. Like yeah. something's yeah. weird. Somebody's witnessing something lined up with you being very fatigued and well look the things. time that we went up north and I heard you fucking I'm like, there's something wrong with this kid. You you fell asleep on the couch and I'm like the like the breathing pattern just doesn't <laughs> make sense. I, I fell asleep <laughs> on my back that day. Whatever which made it, was. it worse. Yeah, yeah. That's, that is. Yeah. But I wasn't uh, when I even then I got it checked soon after that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it wasn't as bad as it sounded when yeah. they gave me my my numbers and everything. Yeah, yeah. It was one of those things. He's like, it's not bad, but you should do it before it get because it may, it'll be bad right, very right, soon, right. and you right. shouldn't let it get there. You know. That was the first time I think I was exposed to something like that. I thought I thought I thought you were choking, bro. I thought I had to wake you up. I'm like oh, he's dying. <laughs> it was so inconsistent. I've had, a, I've had a similar experience. I spent the night once in LA with Chris and a couple of. Oh other my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was this guy who had to. He had it so bad. He had to sleep with a, like sitting up, sitting up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holding a pillow. I thought there was a fucking train in our room. Yeah, and like a, it was like an engine. Yeah. I was confused. <laughs> I thought it was Chris's CPAP machine. <laughs> then I'm like, I go. I'm like, what's? I'm like, Hold on, it's not Chris. It's it's him. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> I, was, I was in shock, and that's when I'm like, man, maybe I should go check this out. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> so yeah, so you feel better, you breathe better. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I I go running. I do it no sweat, no sweat. There's no struggle. I only feel tired when I'm done. Yeah, yeah. And hungry. And hungry. That's uh, <laughs> if you're not, if you're not hungry a little bit. If you don't embrace starving. that hunger, my friends. You won't get no results. Are are you doing? Uh, you're doing the fasting. I'm doing intermittent fasting. And how I'll long? What, what do you do? What's the thing? Um, my window that I eat during like every day is from usually it's loose right now. Mm-hmm. It's gone a bit looser now since I've lost some uh, a lot of weight. And uh, basically, I eat at like between eleven, twelve. Between I usually eat at eleven or twelve, mm-hmm. and I cap it off at like six, six thirty. I try oh, seven, seven, eighteen hours, eighteen, hours. eighteen, 18, 18, 18 hours. six. You do yeah. the eighteen six, yeah. yeah. And I also cut uh, bread and sugar, not 
all sugar i'll have my fruits in my fruits yeah but those are good sugars no i mean you uh, can well it's still it, sugar added sugar is the problem yeah it's added sugar yeah and uh it helps control the appetite it's especially when you're first starting out with um the intermittent fasting it helps a lot yeah did you find it hard to do the intermittent fasting no and I, I still do it. Yeah, I still do it. So, and I don't find it hard at all. I've adapted to it. And like, uh, and since you're following George, I'm assuming that he t he taught you how to do the calorie counting and stuff. He doesn't I, do that. Oh, I, you don't do that. You no, don't. He, count. he controls his portions. I yeah. just control my portions because if I'm hungry, I gotta be realistic. Like, it works for him. For me, I like if I want a little extra that day. I'll, yeah. I'll just me me. It comes lunch. from not having a very active job when I started this. Right. So I had to use some kind of metric because right. I didn't have much time to exercise. And yeah. I, had to st I needed a, a gauge. I needed a line. Yeah, yeah. But he's got a f more physical job and stuff. Yeah. I yeah, move yeah. around and I move around and it works for me. You know, I look forward to lunch. You know, I sit down. I eat, I eat my, my carrots. Before I used to like, what am I, a rabbit? I'm going to eat carrots and <laughs> lettuce and stuff. You know, what is this? I'm going to eat this at lunch. No, man. But, Where's uh, the beef? <laughs> it's, it's so incredible, the, you know, the transition. Like, like Sorry. when you look back now, right? I mean, you've yeah. lost a hundred pounds. Like you look back to, let's say for example, and it's not that long ago, right? It's not like it's three yeah. years ago, man. It's fucking last December. Like if you look back at October yeah. and you realize what your intake was every single day, the, the, the stuff that you were eating, like doesn't it hit you like a fucking 18 wheeler? You're like, what bye the bye hell denial. was I doing, man? Denial. Yeah. Bye it's bye denial. Yeah. yeah, I was in denial. denial. Even though I knew, you know, that's what the night is. Yeah. Food. Yeah, you know you're eating bad. You for know you're eating bad. For me, that was a big thing because uh, when, I, when I first did it, somebody suggested to me, hey, there's this app. Try it out. Yeah, yeah. You can, there's proof of what you're doing. You can I, follow I, it. Yeah, I, I tried that too. I tried one meal. I'm like, okay, Sorry, I'll try man. tonight's dinner and see what this is. And then that meal, I had burned what it had suggested for my day. And yeah. I realized I had been eating way too much for way too long. Can't blame it on anything else. Uh, honestly, it's a great. What's it called again? The, the app, the one I use. Yeah, is uh, my fitness my fitness pal. pal. Yeah. Fit. yeah, I, I tried that. It, it was okay, but I, I just got you lazy. You have to be disciplined. Yeah, I got lazy punching the things in, and I'm like, oh fuck this shit. I, I had a measuring stick, man, and it kept me at least saying I ate too much. There's an explanation. I ate less. There's also an explanation why I'm losing. Like, I mean, it all just made sense for me. Yeah. It was mathematical. Do you feel Herc that you've reached the point where it, it, it's surpassed just being an effort like you're into that um, habitual mode where it's like it's become part of you like now part of the loop yeah for sure but because we've, we've we've spoken about that right like the hardest thing is to make it more than just uh, a habit right yeah, like make to, it, to make it no, automatic what was lifestyle the, and the what, example what was his we name the trainer oh uh Vagelli? Vag yeah, yeah, yeah 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 you make it the toothbrush yeah, 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 exactly. So we always say that, like the the way that you wake up in the morning and you, it's automatic. You put on deodorant, you brush your teeth, and you yeah. and you leave. Like it's, it's you don't think. Yeah. Like th that's where we want to get. Do you feel like it's gotten past that habit, and it's like that's just what I do now. It's bec it's become part of you. Yeah, because um, like at nighttime, after working a full day of work, and engaging my kids because like they're they're high energy both of them. So. Uh, when it's time to go for a walk or exercise at night, because that's the time that I could allow mm -hmm. a lot to me, uh, you know, taking care of myself. Um, I don't want to go sometimes. Yeah. But I get up and do it anyways. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, what I, you know, I, I need to do this. And um, you got to keep on doing it like that because you could fall into bad habits real quick. And it's happened to me before and I don't want it to happen to me again. So yeah. it's just, it's, that's why I, I've done everything gradually. So I could be able to control it, mm -hmm. and also it has a, on my mental state. It has a, a big effect. It uh, I just feel great, man. Yeah, I really feel great, man. Honestly, when I saw you on Saturday, because <laughs> and again, like it, it, it no, but it's I was hard. pretty big, dude. Dude, uh -huh. but but it's hard to picture because George is saying, dude, he's reaching a hundred pounds, and it's like, you yeah. know, it it registers. The guy said he lost a hundred pounds, but visually, it's so hard to see. You thought I was exaggerating? Yeah, no, I didn't think you were exaggerating. I, I just. You know, you're saying 100 pounds. It's like, what the fuck? That's, that's like, how? How do you even lose 100 pounds, you know? And you, you're like, I couldn't process it. Like, I, I, I comprehended the 100, but visually, I'm like, yeah. how, how do, you know, you're like, you need to see it. You're like, what the fuck? Like, what happened? You didn't visualize it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. good, man. I'm so happy for you. Thank yeah. you, man. Um, amazing. So, 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 what's the thing now? Are, are you. 
uh, and I don't want to put anyone on the spot here, but are you doing this at all with your wife? Is it like a, is it like a like a like a joint effort? Uh, like a, you, you want some company and stuff like that? Well, yeah, she's uh, she's doing the intermittent fasting. Okay, and she's she's lost a considerable amount of weight. Cool, and uh, yeah, for sure, we prepare meals together. Sometimes we have to deviate because she works from home, mm -hmm. and uh, I you know I pack my lunch from the morning, but we try. We try as much as possible. Like sometimes the days, the things don't align during the day, but uh, yeah, and she's so, she's doing great. And we want to be, you know, as a family, be yeah. healthy, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see grandkids. My my wife started training, um, and well, Joanna always trained. She was always fit, uh, but you know, like everyone, you fall kind of like in this. I mean, I should prepare for the Olympics. Dude, you don't understand. <laughs> like she took off. Did like, she ever tell you I must break you? I must break <laughs> like. Uh, uh, my wife yeah, is uh, my, my wife is kind of like she has that mentality where it's like it's all in kind of thing right yeah. so we started sp she started spinning she got me into it she went off and bought shoes like her own shoes like uh, the, the cleats whatever it's like yeah and the then she's attached to the pedals yeah, yeah yeah so she has her own shoes when she goes and then because her father has two speed bikes with a pedal so she had to go get new uh bindings to fit that and i'm like what are, you, what are you doing she goes yeah i'm gonna start doing my i'm gonna start uh, running uh with my i'm gonna start biking with my dad and this and that and then last week she started doing crossfit <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> yeah there's this new gym that opens she's like you're gonna come with me i can get a free class if you come i'm like take your dad take your <laughs> like i'm sure your dad's gonna like it if you go oh. do that it's gonna kick your ass fuck yeah Cross, Is it bad for your shoulder I'm a f I'm uh, that's one thing that worries me. It's talk to me the back. instructor. Maybe you should do it, man. I can. I, I know what I can and cannot do. Okay. But the problem that I fear about CrossFit is that because it's like a group and everyone is kind of supporting each other and they're like, "Yeah, let's go do this." Like you're gonna want to push yourself. Yeah. And that's the easiest way to get injured. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like yeah. it's like when you're at the gym and they play the Rocky song and people go too far. <laughs> And the ambulances show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All of a sudden, you, you're 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 150 pounds soaking wet, and you could press four plates. You press four plates. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> and, and I and and you know I have had my shoulder dislocated in front of other people. It, it's what? not yeah. It's not it's not nice, bro. It's like, it's embarrassing. Like, people Mel, were like, well, like, what's wrong with you? Mel Gibson and like uh, yeah, like, like, yeah, the whole thing comes on. You're like, ah, people were like, what's going on? <laughs> He's telling them everything's okay. <laughs> did I tell? Well, did I tell you this, uh, in Quebec City? There's like an indoor uh, aqua park kind of thing. Did I tell you? Did I tell you what happened? No. Oh my God! This is a couple weeks ago. We went to Quebec City, and then about half an hour from there, there's like an indoor uh, water park. So we went with the girls, whatever. First ride. <laughs> the first ride. I have uh, I have the little one on me, and we want to go down a slide there, and you fall into a pool, whatever. And I'm holding her with my left uh, hand, and I'm trying to get down to sit so I can slide. Oh fuck! I should have done the opposite. Fuck! I should have been holding her with the right and got down with my left. Instinctively, you hold it with your left because your right's the problem, not thinking. That, yeah, uh, yeah, you know. Fuck. So, I, but even so, I'm holding, and I'm getting down, and as I sit down. Bro, the shoulder just comes out. Clunk. I'm like, ah. So my wife, my wife has gotten so used to it now that it's like automatically she knows how to react. She's like, oh, okay, gotta take the baby. And I'm like, ah. And there's people now behind us waiting for us to go. <laughs> so, yelling. And I'm like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so, 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 so. I'm like, ah. And I'm on the floor now, eh? Everybody's waiting for us to come down. You have the lifeguards. Okay, okay. And I'm like, ah, ah. Oh, so the people behind it, like, I, I didn't see what they look like, but my wife goes, Fuck, you should have seen them. They were freaking. They thought you were having a heart attack. Oh, and I can hear my wife saying, oh, it's okay, it's a shoulder. No, no, like, no, he, he's fine. He's actually fine. He's, he girl. likes it like this. Poor girl, man. <laughs> like she's gotten to a point where she needs to explain to the other uh, people. Fuck, it's man. normal, don't worry. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's just a shoulder. Now you've come to where I am where you're afraid to do exercise because of your injury. I'm, I'm not afraid because I train and I, uh, like the, I know. Well, you've been staying away, you told me, because of your injury. Well, after that, I haven't I haven't trained in like three, it's been three or four weeks. I could it kill, That killed me. It killed me. Uh, and I remember when I was young, and it would come out, it would go back in. Half an hour later, it was as if nothing had happened. What, what brought this on, man? What, I don't what know. Was the first? Man. Do you remember the first time? You I don't down? remember, man. He has I, long I, arms I, and I, he grabs trees and hangs from them. <laughs> 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 That's how I would get to school. I would swing from the fucking light pole. <laughs> Gorilla arms. His knuckles drag on the concrete. <laughs> yeah, that's why my knuckles are all fucked up. Man. His fingers are actually short because of all the rubbing on the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, I don't remember oh, what man. had caused it, but uh, 
you know, a couple of years ago, it wasn't a problem. It would come out, go back in, and it wasn't, it was like, it could, but now. You, you did it too many times. It's, it doesn't forgive you no, anymore. No, it's, it's over. Now the shoulder comes out, I'm done for three weeks. Like, I can't. Like, mobility, like, I can't. So I, I had to, I was going to, I had planned to start training again this week, and I didn't. Uh, Fear? Not fear, laziness. You can have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So bring I that toothbrush. Bring that toothbrush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the spinning. Uh, but I've maintained the spinning though. Uh, I was still That's spinning. That's it. Do, do what you do can. It. Do what you can. Yeah. So no, but I, I had told myself, okay, Monday I'm gonna start again. I think I'm fine. It doesn't hurt. So, um, but I haven't done it. So all that to say that I know what the limitations. I know exactly what exercise I can do. So I'm not. I'm not afraid to train. Uh, and well, since I started training, like I remember in the beginning, I couldn't even lift the tens above my head. I couldn't do it. Right. I couldn't do it. 10, 10, 10 pounds, dude. Too, too painful or? Uh, yeah, I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It was like, that was insecurity. Was fear. And I got to 25 now. Like, so it's like, it's, 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 it's cool. You know, it's, it's good. It's comfortable. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's but good. Uh, one little injury, boom, sets you back. I have a, so, um, I have an issue with the shoulder over here. I have arthritis inside. Yeah. So if I move it around with little shards and stuff, break in the uh, and do it. You feel it? It hurts? One time. This is uh, uh, around uh, 2019 before COVID. Um, uh, I heard it. I had gone to the gym and I aggravated it, you know, and yeah. uh, I was in so much pain. I was home and usually I, I won't, if I hurt myself, I won't go to the hospital. I'm like typical guy. You yeah. Know, I'm fine. I'd feel. I'd feel. Whatever. And I was literally holding my shoulder in pain mm -hmm. on my couch, rolling like in pain. It felt like someone was jabbing me ah. in the shoulder with a knife and just twisting constantly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I had to go to the hospital and give me the pills and but it's you got to be careful too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna. Now that I'm starting the gym, I'm like um, approaching with caution. Yeah. Is that something you can take care of? Like, or right. arthritis is just there for good? Like arthritis, arthritis, you, arthritis? You, got, yeah. you can't you can't stop it. But you could do things to it's relieve it. It's just about it. pain. Yeah, really but you also, pain. from what I've read, because I have some things that become arthritic, you have to use them because the the actual using them. Shaves it down, right? Because they're osteophytes, little bone spurs that yeah. accumulate spurs. at the injury, and they're actually bone. But yeah, but bone that could be rubbed out, right? Through. So technically, the more you use it, the cleaner it, it stays. Okay, the cleaner yeah. it stays. So, so but it's all about you have about to use it in yeah. in positive ways, not things ways that are going to aggravate. Right. It. Always in positive, positive ways. Building muscle around it too, so it can actually it. building muscles that that, that are going to add to supporting the injury versus targeting the area like. You have to let the area be and so build around it. You know, that's why f I think physiotherapy is good. They teach you things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, no, the, the, the limitations. I, I'm fine. Thank God, thankfully. Like, um, so on that front, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried, but the, um, what's it called? The, 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 not the, Circuit, the, the, what the fuck is she doing? CrossFit. CrossFit. The CrossFit. CrossFit. Sorry. Cir circuit training. Circuit yeah, yeah. The, the CrossFit, that, that scares me a lot. Why? Because I've seen shit that they do, okay. and, it, you know, they, 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 they do the that. The range um, of motion is. Uh, yeah, man. They do that weightlifting thing where they, yeah. like, whatever you call it, the. The, the place where you lift them over your head and. You, and you the, throw it on the top of your chest. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit, that, I, I know I can't do that. Well. And, I think you should just start off gradually. Yeah. You know, just don't do, do 40 pounds. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm alone, no problem, but it feels like when y you have to go, cause there's like another seven, eight, nine, ten people and they're like fucking pushing it. And you're like, shit, fuck. I don't want to look so like a weakling here. I'll check what her program is. Yeah. Yeah. And see if, yeah, there's different, there's different programs. I think last time she did one, just legs. And, uh, I think yesterday she went, it was like a full body thing. Um, be selective and, Compensate for where you can well, go. I think we should all join a Zumba class. We've been, we've been, we've been saying. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking for laughs, but you guys are. Being I'm gonna like, wear my yoga pants. We we've been saying we've been saying, and we're gonna we're gonna organize this. Uh, I don't know how we're gonna we're gonna pull it off, and you know, logistically and getting people all there. But we have um, uh, uh, pending uh, a hot yoga session. I've done that, before. but that's just I've, to, I've that, done it. That's just to make a funny video yeah, and the spinning. <laughs> Also, funny gonna, video. yeah. And what else was there? Hot uh, yoga is actually good, dude. Hot yoga. I did it three times. It feels amazing once you're done. It's in a sauna, dude. It was like forty degrees, like probably over forty degrees. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's that. warm. You're so um, oh yeah. What? I could do that. You know, when I did that, 
I just started dating my wife. So I was the weight that I'm I'm at right now. Yeah. So I actually did that. Uh, I never tried it before, but I actually nailed it. The, the tripod on my head, and I put my legs. Really? Through. I actually did it. Yeah. And then I like uh, you know. I yeah. Fell then it went downhill. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I kept it together. Yeah, but yeah. after I was done, I I played it off like all oh, cool, but I was dying inside. My neck was like, you know, ruined. I have never. I have never in my life sweat more. Yeah, then when brutal. I did the hot yoga, and I, I told you a story. No, we yeah. were we, we I think we we're doing a plank. I don't know what the hell we we're doing, but we were we were on our stomach, and I can feel like in the bottom of my back, it was a, it was a it was a pond. Yeah, like at some point I tilt over and I can, it just <laughs> fell down. And it was disgusting. There was just fucking sweat everywhere. What's the floor made out of? It's carpet. That's it's like you walk in there and you're it asking smells. me no. to go in there <laughs> I and think. use that area. No, no, me, I th I'm not. I, I think I'm not you sure. Bring your, you bring your own mat. No, no, you bring your own you mat. Don't feel comfortable standing this close to you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember oh, what their floor. I, I kind of remember carpet, but I could be wrong. Carpet but is nasty. It's disgusting. Yeah, you should. It should. But you have you have your own role. Like it we should we, be something you could spray down yeah, the hose. Like, yeah, like uh, a floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like a tile vinyl or floor, I, or not even vi like a vinyl or a tile yeah. floor. Yep. But I, I think I remember carpet. I could be wrong, but uh, I, in any case, in Actually, any case, yeah. the biggest challenge, the biggest challenge, apart from the physical aspect of hot yoga, is just kind of, you know, going through that threshold of the smell. Because it's uh, people sweat, dude. You're walking into like a forty degree room after 20, 30 people have just come out. Does it smell then more than just sweat? Look, you're gonna get a little foot smell. Uh, it's like a, like a shoe that's been left kind of in a closet for Doritos. like a, uh, yeah. a Doritos. wet a wet <laughs> shoe. A wet yeah, shoe. yeah, yeah, exactly. Doritos, 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 Doritos <laughs> Cool Ranch, uh, <laughs> Old Barbecue. But you feel uh, we, I did it three times. We went the three original times. nacho. I love it. Uh, the first time I went because it's ninety minutes. It's ninety minutes. It's ninety you minutes for ninety minutes. It's a ninety minute thing. By, and uh, by that time, I, by the end of that, I have enemies in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm sick of people Look, already. The first time, the first time, I didn't know what the hell was. Cause again, it was my wife that did it, and she brought me along. I'm like, yeah, okay, cool, we'll do it, whatever. So I walk in, and the instructor, she's like, listen, it's ninety minutes. It's a long time. If you can't do it, just don't do the exercise. Just breathe. At least go through the ninety minutes, you know. Yeah. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, look, I'll fall. ninety minutes, whatever, it'll pass, you know. Um, Did they have to call uh, no, an ambulance? No, the, the first time it was not bad. It was the last 10 minutes that I felt that I couldn't. Like I, I had to stop yeah. and I was just breathing, whatever. So I'm like, yeah, 10 minutes to the end. It's not bad. You know, I, you know, I, did, I did okay. We go the second time and I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nail it. Like the first time if I did that. Like the sec That's when you needed the ambulance. The, the second time was the worst <laughs> thing ever. Oh my God, it was the worst thing. Like the instructor kept giving uh, instructors to the class, but I'm positive it was like directed straight to me dude i was moaning like a fucking donkey i was like ah, 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 ah. i couldn't i couldn't and, and, and the instructor she kept saying I, if was you a need guy, a I doctor please leave the room no, and, and like you know because it's zen so you have all this nice music playing and stuff and the guy's going around and he's like you can only cool off by breathing and i'm like that's fucking me for sure dude i'm disrupting the class i was loud i was really loud i kept telling myself this is embarrassing people are listening Look to me right now moaning <laughs> fucking <It's> suffering <laughs> but why the first time you went this it wasn't the same reaction yeah i don't know the maybe first time day, it was, i don't know maybe you maybe had, the, uh, the first day you had more pride you held it in, oh, but you know what changed from the first. Also, the from because uh, did you get a big meal or something? So did you like no, no, salt, I, I salty, don't, salty? No, salty I don't meal? know. I don't know. It was maybe Meat the sweats. enthusiasm of trying it, and I did okay. And the second time, it's because in the back of your head, you're like, I got this. You're you know? it be easier the second time. Yeah, exactly. But it wasn't. I felt the second time. I felt that it was way hotter than the first time. That's but it was the like same it's, same, same temperature. Yeah, well, you were probably doing something different leading up to the, when you did it because I don't know. You, you were you were probably a little more reserved when yeah. things more relaxed. Yeah. Then you just attacked and not being. Ready and for it. Uh, I felt that I was going to do better in the second because the first time I went in, I went with a with a t shirt, t shirt and shorts, and I keep seeing guys walking around with their little like they were topless, yeah. and with a little. Like a tight little bathing suit looking thing. And I'm like, fuck, relax. Obviously, they were ripped. And I'm like, okay, dude, stop showing off. Like, okay, I'm not a shirt, but relax. But I understood why. 
There's no way. Well, the t-shirt is almost worth pointless. Yeah. You, you can't. I took it out. Halfway in the class, I had to take it out. I had to take it out. And I, that's where I'm like, oh my God, this is embarrassing. Fuck with my stomach. Fuck everyone else is ripped. And me, I'm like, Bleh, like a fat slob in the back. That's why sweating. you were breathing that way. But that was the first time. So the second time around, I'm like, I, ca I can't do the topless. I don't have that kind of confidence. So I went with a little tank top, you know, like a little those wife beater. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fruit of the loom. <laughs> you know? Ordered from uh, Greece. And I'm like, okay, it's going to go much better now. You know, I had a shorter shorts. You know, I didn't go with uh, the... So I'm like, okay, and I don't know what it was. Overconfident? I don't know what the fuck it was. I, I, I flopped completely the second time. <laughs> He's looking and, at those ripped guys. I'm going to go for and, 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 and you would think that would be enough for me to say no more hot yoga. I went for a fucking third time. <laughs> that's good. That's good, man. Glutton for punishment. Did you do better the third time? I don't remember, man. I don't remember. Did you finish it? I, I stayed all, the whole, th all three times. I stayed for the 90 minutes. I don't remember if I did the whole session. Uh, just the first time I remember it was 10 minutes to the end because I was looking at the clock. I'm like, is it fucking over yet? Um, but uh, yeah, at least, at least he didn't try to bench press four plates, uh, you know, yeah. the first time you did that. No, okay. the rock, you play Rocky, <laughs> to you play the Rocky theme. Yeah, man. How stupid are people that think they can go for the weight stupid. lift like fucking two plates? Yeah, pretty slap stupid. him on. What are you, retarded? Pretty thing? stupid. Yeah, yeah, like I don't think I can bench a plate. Uh, maybe, maybe you won't start there, but uh, you can get there easily. What's a plate? 40, 45, 45, 45 plus 45. Plus 40, plus 40, on the bar. It's yeah. 40 or 45 the 45. bar? 45. 45. Yeah. So 45, 45, and 45. Yeah. 135. Because I know you don't do good math. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Look, he his socks are on. He couldn't get there fast. Brutal. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so, there, so, so what's the plan now, Herc? Uh, let's. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's wrap it up. What's the plan for you? What are you what are you excited the most about? And uh, like, if there's a message you can give to people now, just do it. Jump into it and get healthy. That's it. It's there's there's no way around it. It takes work, and you just just the way that I do things is I just jump into it. Yeah, you know, you mentally prepare. It's like you know, uh, you make plans to do something and. Uh, you know, you keep on making excuses and you never, you know, you never jump on the train. You're just watching it pass by. Yeah. You know, so just jump on it and uh, educate yourself. Go on, go online, ask people that are, that are trying to uh, do the same thing and uh, stick to it. It's as simple as. If, if you, for, if you want it, you'll find a way. You'll find a way. And, and, and for those. Uh, for those wondering, obviously we're not experts over here, but we have brought a lot of people from the training, nutrition, and you know, kind of health industries. Uh, you can go and listen to all those episodes if you wanna uh, gain some more knowledge, or you can follow some credible people. Um, you can do that, uh, and we have maybe one more uh, guest coming probably next uh, next week. We're trying to get my the, the spinning instructor to come in. So we're going to get another point of view of another expert. And we're going to ask him what it's like to watch witness George having a shoulder injury. Dude, that was my first question I was going to ask him. <laughs> like, what is it? What, what do I look like from your perspective? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so you can go back and look at those episodes if you want to follow people that, um, that are specialists in the nutrition and uh, weights and uh, uh, weight loss and all that stuff um yeah but i think the key message here is that and it's always hard in the beginning but i mean look at that man if you if you maintain a consistency it's guaranteed man the, the yeah. results are there right stick so i think it's it. just a mental game to just fight through the noise and in your head mostly learn, learn that discipline and embrace the suffering also he's a wealth of information dude He's kept it off for seven. Dude, he was a big boy. He was a big I, I remember, George. Yeah. I, I remember the first time I met you. I was afraid of you. Yeah. No joke. I was like, why the fuck is Chris hanging like, out with this like, guy? Like, no, <laughs> I was like, like what the fuck? Like, <laughs> who are like these Like people? 99% of people that see George. A lot of people don't. I've seen that. people cross the street. No, but now, no but now you look okay because back in the day, people need to imagine this. He had hair. It was long. He had a... Did you have a beard or a goatee? Both. Whatever. He had... Uh, the Hatfield chops. And, yeah, yeah, and it, it was like a fucking closet coming at you. It was like, well, who is this guy? So fucking fuck me up. <laughs> no joke. I was like, yeah. I remember that. I, I remember yeah. the first time I saw you, I was like, Chris, what the fuck are you doing with these people? 
I think these guys are dangerous. <laughs> judgmental <laughs> fucker. <laughs> right away. So straight oh. to the straight to judging people. Um, so yeah, so obviously you've done a great uh, job and yeah, George is definitely an example to follow and yeah, uh, you're right. Sure. He has he has kept it on. No, there's and two examples to follow. Yeah. Fuck, dude, man, again, congrats, man, on 100 Thank pounds. Uh, so, you. so happy for you. And uh, I, I, I was, you should have seen me, bro, Saturday. I'm like, what the fuck is what's going on? I was so happy for you. It was Thanks, like man. through the roof. Thank you. If you took my advice, maybe you'd win this fucking competition. I, I, I've lost uh, over 25 pounds and I'm following that. And, uh, I'm you know, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you. Lost thanks, bro. Thanks, thanks. Uh, uh, how many weeks left? Two weeks left to the end of the co uh, the competition or competition? Yeah, something like that. Close to that. Are, are, are you? Are, have you uh, plateaued or you? No, no, I'm back on the move. Oh fuck, fuck. He had plateaued for a couple weeks, and I thought this is my chance, and I I screwed up. <laughs> I messed hard. it up. I should have got in hard. there. You guys are all going hard, and it's good. It's just positive. you know what I told. I said this at the beginning. I said it in the middle. I'll say it again. I don't care about the results. I'm glad we're all doing it. Because it's keeping us all continuously doing it. 100%. I'll be honest with you. I never thought that we'd do it uh, for this long. Look, I, 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 I faltered a bit, but... We all did, but I, I knew, never thought I that we'd I maintain it. I knew I would. Yeah. Just I get back on the horse. I'm glad we did. I'm glad we did. And, um, and of course, Herc isn't the only guy. We had, like, uh, I think six or seven other people that joined that parallel yep. uh, thing. And, um, you know, we should be getting the results uh, when that competition ends. And uh, hopefully uh, they will continue as well. Man, I don't know. I mean, we, we didn't do this thinking that we're going to change lives. We initially just wanted to do it, you know, a competition amongst ourselves. And uh, it appears that, yeah, there's been a few other people that... Um, Positive influence everywhere. That... Uh, jumped on board and uh, we're so excited that uh, we were able to at least slightly you know plant the seed and changing their kind of lives so um yeah so we're happy about that yeah awesome guys good job herc thank you so much for coming on man i appreciate it um we're gonna we're gonna be talking obviously uh, soon uh, we're gonna be talking more and uh i i, I look forward to you know in the next couple months to see how that that keeps going for you man honestly really really happy for you thank you man i appreciate it thanks for having me on guys you guys are uh decent gentlemen decent gentlemen yes. that's the the, <laughs> when the camera comes decent. on <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, oh, we're no. gonna shut everything down and then the real conversation is gonna start where we mock each other uh no uh and then george <laughs> dislocates other things <laughs> yeah <laughs> guys thank you so much for tuning into this uh dadversation uh, again uh, go over to youtube and subscribe follow us Uh, head on over to all the audio platforms, subscribe and rate it, and we will see you all on the next episode. Take care.